Welcome to video five. Uh, today we're gonna to be looking at chords. It takes three or more notes to make a chord. Two notes are still considered a melody. A three note chord is called a triad. So let's begin by looking at the way that chords are built. Most of the chords that we use are built using thirds. There are two kinds of thirds. There's a major third and then there's a minor third. A major third is four half steps and a minor third is three half steps. If I'm on the A note and I count up four, one, two, three, four, from this note to this note is a major third. If I'm on the A note and I count up three notes, from this note to this note is a minor third. So here's a minor third and here's a major third. And we put those thirds together in order to build our chords. This chart reveals how common chords are built using thirds. A major third is four half steps and a minor third is three half steps. A major chord is built from a major third and a minor third. And a minor chord is built from a minor third and a major third. These are three note triads. The two chords on the left are major chords and the two chords on the right are minor chords. The note played with the fourth finger is the root note. Now a triad is a three note chord, so we're going to build some triads right now. Now a triad is built off of the first, the third, and the fifth of the major scale. So here is an E note, okay, a third from there is here, and a fifth is here, okay, and there's an E major. Now, the beauty of that is that that works wherever you slide this position. So if you slide this down to here, here's a D, here's a D major. Okay, so here's an F, here's an F major. Okay, so with this pattern, you can figure out the notes. If you know the names of the notes on your guitar neck, you can figure out the notes for any chord. Here's an E, okay, here's a uh, G sharp, and here is a B. Those are the notes in the E major chord. Now you can take this whole pattern and move it over to the next group of strings. Here's a B, here is a uh, E flat, and here is a F sharp. There's your B chord. Now you can slide this down, here's your A, here's an A major. Okay. Now to get a minor chord, all you do is you take this third note and you flat it and you make it a flat third. So here is your major chord and you just flat it like this. So here's your E minor. And this moves the same way as the uh, other chords do. So here's the E minor. You want to slide it down here. Here's you start off with a D. There's a D minor. Up here, here's F minor. Here's C minor. We move over to the next section of strings. Here's your C note. We move it down here, and here's your B note. Here's B minor. Okay. And here is A minor. Here's major. Here's minor. Okay. Here's B major. Here's B minor. An augmented triad is built from a major third and a major third. A diminished triad is built from a minor third and a minor third. So far we have built chords uh, using major thirds and minor thirds. A major chord is a major third and a minor third. A minor chord is a minor third and a major third. An augmented chord is a major third and a major third. And a diminished chord is a minor third and a minor third. So, using the same uh, types of chords that I just showed you, we're going to build some augmented chords and some diminished chords. So here's our E note. We're going to go a minor third up from there. Then we're going to go another minor third. So there is an E diminished chord. So there's our pattern, and we just slide it around. Here's an F, and 
and we'll use the same pattern. Here's an F diminished. And we can slide this over to the same group of strings, the lower group. Now, here's a B note. Here's our B diminished chord. Here's a C diminished chord. Okay. Now, an augmented chord is a major third and a major third, and it looks like this. Okay. Our first note is an E. Okay. Here's our major third and another major third. So there's an E augmented. We slide it up a half step. Here's F augmented. Here's our F. Here's a major third, here's a major third. Here's a D augmented. And we can also move this over to the next group of strings. Here's A augmented. Here's our A note. Here's B augmented. Here's our B note. Okay. When we add another third, we get seventh chords. A major seventh is built with a major third, minor third, and major third. It contains the first, third, fifth, and seventh notes from the major scale. A dominant seventh is built with a major third, minor third, and minor third, and it contains the first, third, fifth, and flat seventh scale degrees. A minor seventh chord is built with a minor third, major third, and minor third, and it contains the first, the flat third, the fifth, and the flat seventh scale degrees. Here are some major seven chords. Some notes have squares instead of circles. These squares are the root notes for the chord. Here we see some dominant 7th and some minor 7th chords. We also see some 9th chords. Square boxes that are used for finger placement represent root notes. Okay, now we're going to add another third to the triads that we've been doing. Okay, we know that this is a major chord right here. Okay, when we add a major third to that, that's one, two, three, four, that's this note, we have a major seven. That note is the seventh note in the major scale. So here's our major seven. Now this is an E note right here. So this is an E major, E major seven. Okay, so it sounds like this. Same notes. Okay, if we move this over to the next group of strings, that's a B major 7. That chord. Okay. Now, we can add a minor third to that major triad. So here's our major triad. And we're going to add a minor third. One, two, three. So that's this note. So we're flatting the seven. Here's our seven. We're going to make it flat. And that is called a dominant seventh chord. Okay, here's a D7. And here's a D7. You might know those as basic chords, but those are dominant chords, okay? They don't say dominant, they just say seven. So whenever you see a number, they imply dominant. Okay, so here's an E note. And with this note, we're making that an E7 or E dominant seven. Again, this, you can slide it um, up or down. If we did it right here, here's D. Okay, now there's your D dominant chord. We can also slide this over the next group of strings. There's our B7. A7. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is take a minor triad, which is this chord. Okay. I'm going to take and add a minor third to that. Starting from our last note, one, two, three. Okay. So we have a flat third 
and a flat seven. That, and we're starting off on E as a root note, so that makes that an E minor seven. That's, a, that's the same chord as this. Okay, so here's our E minor seven. We can slide this the same way we slide the other ones. We can play a B minor 7 too. And then what we did is we moved over to the next group of strings. Whatever note you start on is what chord it is. Okay? So those are our dominant 7th chords and our minor 7th chords and our major 7th chords.